guys good morning i'm changing a diaper right now just if you're wondering <laughs> anyways oh, i woke up with this little friend this morning i'm not very happy about and it's been quite the fiasco this morning uh, i woke up and actually no last night i realized cameron had school today and carter doesn't they have like different technically because cameron's still in preschool it's a different school district they have their own school day calendar anyways so i got up early got him all dressed got him in the drop-off line like we're all lined up waiting for them to open the doors and then we're all waiting 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 and none of the teachers were there like nobody was there nobody from like school administration nobody like the whole building was like shut down and all the parents were out here waiting because the calendar said they had school today so i don't know the rest of the school like the other district didn't so i'm assuming like they wouldn't have the preschool when they don't have the other but then why was it on the calendar and nobody called us like to let us know there was an error or something so that was kind of irritating, like getting them all ready, getting them all packed up and out and ready. And I had to have somebody stay with the kids because Joseph worked last night and so he wasn't home. So that was pretty irritating, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to call anybody about it because I'm sure somebody else probably has and they, I don't know, I'm sure at least they'll find out tomorrow and what are they supposed to do, like the teachers and stuff. So anyways, um, yeah, that was a great way to start the morning. And then also, I was stripping the diapers last night, or I showed that yesterday in the vlog, but I didn't get the whole strip done. So I'm like out of diapers right now. What I do, just as an insider tip, what I do if I like run out of diapers, because you don't strip these parts, like these shells, unless you had like a, I don't know, you use some weird cream or something. For the most part, when I'm stripping my diapers, I don't do that on the shells. And so if you've got these, you can just, you know, use whatever kind of washcloths you have just kind of tri-fold them and then so tri-fold means like fold it in three and then slide this in the pocket you could actually put this like on top of a cover if you wanted to whatever you need to do and that'll get you you know a few changes by the way if you missed yesterday's vlog the reason i was stripping the diapers is because we went up to the mountain at my family's house and the water's like very different and we ended up using some like not so cloth diaper friendly I'm soap friendly. and i just know they don't seem right so i don't want to mess friendly. around with it Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish up this change, and then I'm going to get to some video editing. I've got a voiceover to do. I don't know what I'm going to do with Kaylee. She's been super needy lately, so she'll probably help. What are you doing with that lotion? What are you doing? Kiss. Kiss? Is it making kissy sounds? Uh. <laughs> she loves to play with the lotion, but it always ends up squirting everywhere, but it's the only way to keep her entertained. <laughs> Okay guys, I have gotten all the dishes done. It feels good, dishwasher's running. Look at this cake over here. Like our family and friends have demolished that cake from a few days ago. That was our Lego cake from the vlogs if you, if you saw those a few days ago. Oh my goodness, it's, it's just crumbs now. Anyways, so I've been trying, now that we're like in January and I've updated like the little habits and stuff from my bullet journal, like my little habit tracker, I've been trying to, um, Make sure that I'm drinking enough water, flossing every night. That's just one that's always been really hard for me. I don't know why. Um, anyways, one of the things I've been trying to do is read. So I got a little bit of Bible study, Bible reading done, which feels good to get it done early. I have a certain schedule that I kind of hold myself to. So yeah, it feels good to do it like early and just be more relaxed. I really wanted to read. There's this, um, I forget what it's called, something happiness, like it's just a novel and I really wanted to read that I forget what it's like the, not the pursuit of happiness <laughs> it's not that one um, but another one that I bought a long time ago on Amazon and I haven't read it yet I just can't seem to like unless I'm getting some sort of knowledge I don't really just read for fun anymore so I need to see if I can like get that on audible or something because if I can listen to a book or Bible reading like it's so much easier for me because I can just like listen and relax rather than I feel like reading nowadays is like work you know and I can't be doing anything with my hands so I feel like I'm not being productive <sighs> anyways right now I'm trying to find some ice cream because I know my husband said he bought a few different like ice creams on clearance when I say a few I mean like he bought a ton of stuff 
What is that? Luna and Larry's Organic Coconut Bliss Mint Chip. He said that was good. Some breast milk over here. <laughs> you guys, look how close. See how close I have to park to fit this Suburban in here? It's insane. But it's all good, you know, I'm a pro. Anyways, the kids, all but um, Carter, are napping right now, so I figure I can just take a little break, snuggle with my hubby now that he's home, and eat some ice cream while I don't have anybody over my shoulder trying to, trying to get some bites. Okay, so here's what I decided to go with. It's the Talenti Gelato. It's raspberry cheesecake. Looks pretty good. I love these containers. If anybody has a good idea of how I can repurpose these, let me know, because they're just really cute. All right, you guys, diapers just got done in the dryer. Just do a little bit of a, let's do a little field check in here. Everything seems dry. I'm surprised there's so much in here. I do think the wool dryer balls help. I think they help to lessen the drying time. Yay, look at all these clean diapers. These are literally all of the inserts and prefolds and all of it. They're clean. scared me. <laughs> you just jumped out of me on the stairs. <gasps> I screamed. Well, you scared me and <laughs> I scared you. I know. I got you back. <laughs> you get that gray piece out of there. I really can't get it out with the Lego piece. Mm -hmm. The Lego piece that gets everything out of, off of things. Yeah. It's not working. I might That's be able to. It's stuck in there. Oh, come on, mommy fingers. <laughs> oh. Kids don't use a knife with the Legos, but under special mommy missions, mommy has to do it. There we go. Thanks, Mama. You're welcome. I was trying to get this piece out for a long time. Yeah? Because it goes to a sand. If I don't get it out, then I won't be able to build it. Yeah. Well, you're trying to separate, separate all the sets out, right? He has a big bin, but he kind of mixes all the projects together. Why don't you bring some of the things you built and we'll check them out. Okay. So I've had quite a good chunk of time to like sit down and send out some emails and reply and all that good stuff. And I was thinking about it. One of the things like as a YouTuber that I do to be able to like put out these vlogs and to be able to create content is like today I was going through and I was writing out and just looking at some of the requests that you guys have for videos. And then I try to think in my mind like, okay, what products have I been loving lately? What brands have we been using? Um, or in the past, what have I used that I want to, that I would like to work with, you know? And so today what I was kind of doing is thinking, okay, they want to see this kind of a video. How can I make that happen? Like, how can I see the video going? What can I see the flow? What products do we already use in that? Like a routine, for instance, and who might be cool to work with? So today I kind of shot out some um, brand emails to kind of reach out. So we'll see. I'm always doing that. Like every single week or two weeks, I send out, you know, a few different emails to brands I think might be cool to work with. And sometimes I'm really shocked, like my favorite cloth diapering brand, for instance, we've been working with them for quite a while now, but um, I just, you know, put the feelers out there and sometimes it's really awesome the kind of um, opportunities that I have and how I can keep what I love doing going with such natural fits. So a lot of you guys ask, like, how do you make money on YouTube or how do you um, like get brand sponsorships and things like that? It's just by having a natural fit and sharing with, you know, like-minded people. So like my audience is people similar to me, my age, my um, sort of lifestyle and kids. And if it's a good fit for me, usually it's a good fit for you guys and it's a good fit for the brands that I use. So anyways, I just thought I would bring that up, let you guys know what I've been doing, what these emails are all about. You want to show them what you've been working on? Well, I need a, this squid and this satellite and this. Is this a satellite or a lighthouse? A lighthouse. Oh, yeah. And this kind of is a little style. guy. This is the guy that was in the helicopter thing and this was too. It's kind of like this, the lighthouse, but it's floats in the water. A buoy? Huh? A buoy it just floats in the water? No, it's not a buoy. The thing that had the bell on the top that he was holding on to. And a lifesaver? What? The big circle thing that you put on you if you're driving? No. Oh, like a scuba mask? No! <laughs> Stop dancing around, Molly. <laughs> Here, you it, film your video. I'm gonna dance if I want to. I'll go get the colors that it was on. Little bossy butt telling me I can't dance while he's vlogging. <laughs> These were on the things he was holding on mm. to. What was I think it? it's a buoy. 
No. Not mommy. Hello. Not mommy. Hi. Mm. Oh, don't smush me, Missy. Uh, I have a rib. Oh. A bruised rib, I think. Missy, oh. Hi. Oh. Hi. Hi. I think we need a king size bed. This one's getting small for all of us. Hey guys, we are back. Everybody's getting in the car. We're just about to go to Target. I need to get I have a whole list of floss. I really want to get like a white gel pen to like fix my mistakes in the bullet journal. I'm looking at getting like a floppy, no, it's not a floppy disk. What is it called? Drive. A flash drive. <laughs> oh, a floppy disk. That really makes me sound old. Anyways, we're just heading out now. Joseph got Kaylee buckled. And let me tell you, my legs from that workout I did yesterday are so sore. Like they haven't been this sore in a long time, but since I was just doing a like strictly lower body workout, it's like it was all my quads and they are burning. I can barely go up and down the stairs. It's it's pretty sad. Ooh, it's band-aids band with food on them. Ooh. I really want to get them because they look super cute. This would be really cute in Kaylee's room. Ta-da! Twenty-five kicks. Deal, mama. Checking out some of the Target sweaters. This one looks really cute. I'm tempted. Looks really similar to a light pink one that I have from here, but I love that one. And it's just, I don't know. Is it too close? But they're so cute. And look at this one. Ooh, I like that. Peanut butter chocolate. Peanut butter chocolate? Can we get it? Ooh, how much are those? Hmm? $4.99? Yeah. Okay, we can get it. There's five of them in there. <laughs> Yay! I'm so not normally like a sucker for graphic tees. <gasps> what is this? Is this like jammies? <gasps> and little shorts. Oh, guys, I'm so tempted. It's a John Lennon song, and I, it's like my all time favorite. <laughs> You're chewing on that orange like it's gum or something. We got the chocolate balls. Sweet. With peanut butter. Where do you think Daddy went? Mama! You know what? He's probably by the drones. We really want to get a drone. That will be really nice to supply Dada. You think? If we buy it, he would <laughs> like it. Yay! How do you like them, Carter? I can't hear a thing. I, I don't like these so much. You don't? Wear it. Missy! Wear it. Oh, you want to wear it? Yes. Yeah, you want to try out the headphones? Hey guys, so my camera died at Target. I don't even remember where we left off, but we were getting a bunch of things. I need to get floss and what was the other stuff? I was trying to find a gel pin. Apparently there are no gel pins in Target, at least our local one. I swear they used to have them, but apparently no longer. Anyways, we are gonna do our Q&A of the day. Cameron said he wanted to do it too, but then I pulled open the vlog and he like really wants to watch it, so. He is watching vlog number three, and that's the questions that we're gonna be answering today. The Varied Mommy says, I'm still a newer subscriber, but we have a lot in common. I'm absolutely loving your downtown with all those old buildings. What city is that? What city is it, Cameron? What do you think? Downtown. Downtown. Portland. Portland, that's right, good job. <laughs> All right, next question is from Amanda Flores, and she says, are you planning on having a garden again in the spring? I am going to plant corn seed, bean seed, and maybe some cucumber. Cucumber and, and carrots. We and really like carrots. some too. carrots. Samantha Stillman says, what is your mascara suggestions? And how do you deal with cloth diapers and pants slash leggings? My little one has to wear larger sizes to fit over it all, but they're usually too long. Hmm. <laughs> So my mascara suggestions, I really have been liking the Tarte Gifted Mascara. I got that, they had like a $10 deal, and I really like that one, and I like the one from 100% Pure, the black tea one is really nice. And the ingredients on the latter are the best, mm -hmm. but the Tarte one, that's just what I'm using right now because I got a good deal on it. And then as far as cloth diapers and pants and leggings, yeah, I usually just go a size up. I don't know, my babies, like they don't really, 
I never really have length issues, like their legs are always long enough, but I wouldn't be opposed to rolling, you know, the ends up. Probably the slimmest fit is to do like a Thirsty's like hemp cotton insert inside like a cover. That's a pretty thin route to go, but um, some of the pre-folds or like fitted diapers can be bigger. I'm seeing a few different um, suggestions for popcorn toppings. That's awesome. I saw a sugar cookie popcorn recipe. That would be a fun one. We should do that. We should do like 10 popcorn recipes. I could probably heat up some marshmallows. <gasps> we could do like s'mores popcorn. Mom, Let me know if you guys want to see that. <laughs> guess what? If you what? put chocolate and marshmallow on two grams of crackles, then you get a s'more. Two grams of crackles. <laughs> Real Life Mama says, I'm so happy you're doing these daily vlogs. I look forward to watching them when my kids nap. I love your style. You make it look so easy to put these items together. Because we did the lookbook that day. And she says, do you, now this is a question to you. Do you come up with the styles or do you have inspiration for the lookbook? <laughs> Where do you get your inspiration? Oh, that's an easy question. Mm. What I would the answer be? I don't know. I want to be a farm one and feed some horses and get some horses. Me too. I've always wanted to get horses. Me too. But we haven't made the gate. Oh, I don't think we have enough space. <laughs> we live in a neighborhood. <laughs> oh, Maybe we could, we could probably have horses like somewhere else. Probably. But out of the campsite. Probably. Because that wouldn't be good. <laughs> Okay, wait, okay, fall. we gotta get back to these questions. Okay, okay. Bonzi. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Bonzi? <laughs> Hilary Hoshaw says, I'm so excited to see the lookbook. It's funny to hear you talk about 30 being cold. It was negative 10 here this morning. <gasps> I, w I wonder where she's at. I feel like, uh, like Canada, but I'm not sure. Also, your eyebrows are perfection, lol. <laughs> uh, they're not done today, so they, d they look pretty light. Um, but thank you. And then she says, out of curiosity, what is your natural hair color? This looks so natural on you, but I'm assuming you wouldn't bother to dye it if this is basically your own hair color. So my hair color, I have nothing in my brows. That's basically my, my color. And pretty much this is my natural hair color, to be honest, but I did bleach it. I was like getting highlights for a while. And so like these lower strands, it's got all that bleach and stuff in it. So it turns like this light pale color. I don't know if I need to go to like a permanent hair color versus like the demi permanent, but I was told that the demi permanent or whatever is like less harsh on your hair. So I guess I just started with that, but maybe I should just, now that I know the color I like, maybe I should just go for that. But anyways guys, I wanna get to our notification squad shout out because I've been trying to do those and thank you so much those of you who have the notification bell turned on. It really does help when you guys are able to watch my videos and share them and do all of that. You get notified first. So notification squad shout out today goes to Samantha West and she says, so glad you're vlogging now. Love, love all your videos. They've helped me in so many ways. Still using my green fills. Love their laundry products, especially for my nine month old's clothes. Notifications turned on as always. Thank you, Samantha, for having the bell turned on and I'm happy that I was able to shout you out. If you guys would like a chance at being featured in my next shout out, then don't forget to leave a comment down below and mention that you've got the notifications turned on. We gotta get you to bed, mister. You've got school tomorrow. Do you remember? I do forget. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.